Our next example states the following. A gas occupies a volume of 12.3 liters at 177 degrees Celsius. What is its volume when the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius? So if we think about this here for a second, we have a temperature going from 177 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. So we're getting cooler and we would expect by the statements that we made in previous videos that our volume should decrease. So this is a direct application of Charles' law and Charles' law says that V1 over T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay, if we wanted to express this as a combined gas equation, we would say P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. But if we have constant pressure, the P1 and P2 are, are going to cancel out. So let's look at what we have here. So initially, our, our volume is going to be 12.3 liters. Our temperature is 177 degrees Celsius, but remember, we need to convert this degree Celsius to Kelvin. So we're going to add 273 Kelvin. That's going to give us a value of 450 Kelvin with the zero being a significant figure. Our second volume is what we're trying to solve for. And our second temperature is going to be 27 degrees Celsius plus 273 Kelvin which would give us 300 Kelvin, or 3.00 times 10 to the second Kelvin, with the second zero being the significant figure. If we want to rearrange this expression to solve for V2, we can say that V2 is going to equal V1 times T2 divided by T1. So V2 is going to equal 12.3 liters times 300 Kelvin divided by 450 Kelvin. If we solve for V2 and express it to three significant figures, we'll get a volume of 8.20 liters, which agrees with our initial prediction that when we cool down this gas, the volume will decrease as we went from 12.3 to 8.20 liters, which is going to verify what Charles said in his law.